Hey guys, Glenn here. I'm down in uh, Far Rockaway off Beach Channel Drive, and I'm looking at another uh, rezoning, ULERP, uh, that's gonna be happening. Uh, I think the community board uh, zoning uh, committee is meeting tomorrow, so I just kinda wanted to go over this information and actually send it more, it's more emphasized on the zoning committee and members of the community board. Um, it's a little, might be a little boring, but it's kind of, um, it's very important. So if you look here, um, where I'm looking at, I'm actually over at Hartman Lane and Beach Channel Drive. Um, many, many might know it by passing. It's around the block from Far Rockaway High School. Um, uh, maybe about a half a mile from Mott Avenue where all the new apartment buildings are going up. So if you look over here, um, there's a rezoning. Somebody's requesting to rezone the property and use it outside of its current zoning. Um, so if you look over here, you have an, uh, an abandoned home. Okay, so this is, this is part of it. This abandoned home here, and if you look, this empty lot. So this empty lot is right on the corner of Hartman, as I mentioned. And this home here, as you can see, um, is part of the rezoning. So this neighborhood is zoned R41, so it allows for single family homes to be built. That's what currently is there. There's a single family, uh, that, that looks like it might be a two family, but um, it was converted from a one family. But if you look in the distance as well, there's another big property on the corner just up the block. So someone filed a ULERP application and what they're looking to do is they're looking to convert this land from R41 zoning to R6B. So R6B zoning would allow them to build a five-story apartment building with 40 units of housing. Um, and that would be because of it's a ULER process. It would be under mandatory inclusionary housing, which means it would be affordable housing. Um, so you can see it's to Far Rockaway Boulevard in Hartman. So again, it's up Hartman over here. You can see Beach Channel right up there. And right now I'm on Far Rockaway Boulevard. Um, it's a little quiet block on uh, near the train track. You can see the train track in the distance. But this house is part of that um, rezoning that they're looking to do. So what they're looking to do is they're looking to knock this house down that they've left abandoned for years. They're looking to knock the other house down that I showed you previously. Um, how you doing, sir? Eh, I'm going. Okay, you can see it's uh, it's been abandoned for a long time. Um, so they're looking to knock this house down. Um, actually, I believe this house is part of the rezoning as well. So they're looking to get this house and if you look in the distance, that's the house that I showed you that's on Beach Channel Drive. You're looking to get that house, the house in the distance, this white house here, with all of that land, um, that empty uh, corner lot on Hartman and Beach Channel Drive. They're looking to take all that to rezone it from single family homes to R6B. Um, and if you look at it, you know what? There's, there's a couple apartment buildings uh, in the distance, some co-ops over there and stuff like that. Um, it probably wouldn't be too bad, to be honest with you. It's only five stories. It's only gonna have 40 units. But part of the rezoning when I, I read it, um, which I thought was kind of interesting, was they're looking to rezone, as part of the rezoning, they're looking to rezone the land that's across the street. 
So that's kind of like hidden in there. So, right, you think that, hey, this is a good thing for the neighborhood, but they're gonna tear down the abandoned home, this empty lot that's been here for a long time, this abandoned home, that other home over there that I showed you, they're gonna knock that all down and they're gonna build an apartment building and provide housing. First of all, just like I said, a half a mile away, far, far off, they're building 3,300 units of housing. So do we really need more housing? Especially, they built another senior housing development right up the block. Uh, Arker built that. They did a nice job with it. Um, but the thing about this development that concerns me is, to be honest with you, I don't want to get hit by a car over here. Um, is this building. So I just crossed Beach Channel Drive. You can see. And if you look at the building over here, this is currently where Challenge Prep, uh, Challenge Prep Charter School is. So Challenge Prep has been here for quite a few years. Um, and it's a, it's a good school. It's a charter school. A lot of parents are happy to have the option of sending their kids here. So I'm just going to walk up the stairs. We'll take a quick look. Uh, many of you may be familiar with chart, uh, Challenge Prep. Um, it's a good school. A lot, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of parents are happy to have a charter school in the neighborhood. Um, and my understanding is, is that the new school, eventually, when it's built in Auburn by the sea, is going to be challenge prep. So there are some agreements going on, not exactly sure what they are, but this land here, this building, I should say, this building is part of the rezoning that they want to do, which makes absolutely no sense. We're in a community that is in desperate need of quality schools and someone is looking to rezone this as part of another rezoning that I showed you on the corner, all that property over there. So they're trying to bundle it all in one and hide it. They're trying to hide the fact that they want to rezone this to make it where they could build housing. So they would tear this building down? It, it doesn't make sense. There's something funny going on here. Um, so this is right around the block from Far Rockaway High School for those who might not, who might know. Um, you can see the, the schoolyard, the football field for Far Rockaway High School, which is now, a, uh, you know, a bunch of smaller schools. It's the Far Rockaway campus. Um, and it's right on Ocean, Ocean Crest Boulevard. So if you look over here, you know, this is a big building. This is a great building. This building provides services for the community. And they're talking about having this lot rezoned as part of a different land use action. It makes absolutely no sense. Members of the community board should be aware of this. Um, and they should actually, the, the zoning committee, they should vote it down. They should vote the taking of this building and converting it into residential housing. This neighborhood doesn't need more residential housing. It needs better quality schools. It needs better quality healthcare facilities. Maybe this could be turned into a healthcare facility for the community if it's not going to be a school any longer. But I just thought it was important to share this information with members of the community board and the zoning committee, uh, zoning and land use committee. Um, yeah, that action should be coming before them. You know, this is almost like be honest with you this is almost like an illegal spot zoning so spot zoning is kind of like illegal 
um, where they just take a parcel of land and use it out of what what it was in originally purposed to be used for. So, I mean, if you look across the street, again, you got two abandoned homes that are sitting there. You have a big corner lot property that's been empty for years and another home next to that white one in the distance to be torn down and build a you know, five-story building with uh, 40 units of housing. Um, but you can see right there, they have some apartment buildings. So probably would make good use of the property, the, the, the land. Um, but this is what concerns me. So why are they looking to rezone this when this building, this facility could provide this community with so many services? That's a question I ask you. So if you're familiar with it, uh, please, please comment on it. Um, comment if you know anything about it. Uh, comment if you know anything about Ch Challenge Prep School. Challenge, um, comment um, so members of the community board know. Um, it's, it's not a good thing. It's, it's, it's really not. Unless they could come up with a plan. Like this building needs to stay and needs to be part of the community. So I uh, just wanted to make members, again, of the community board aware, land use, and, and local neighbors here in the Rockaways. You guys have a great day.